All right, so here's a quick rundown of how to find the brute force um, attack from 233. Three. So one is, we'll go to uh, this. Open up 233, three, brute force attack. And I think, yeah, we'll see, okay. Here's, what, here's one thing where I think um, may have held people back or a small mistake is we're so used to using HTTP content type um, when we're looking inside a web page and for what's happening inside a web page. This one actually just said use the HTTP filter and I think if you use the HTTP content type you won't be able to find it. So if you noticed yourself doing that, that is why. If you go back and try this with just an HTTP filter, Okay, we just typed in HTTP, and then it says, okay, then we're going to do Control F to find a certain packet. We're going to look for phrases such as login to try to catch if somebody was trying to log into this computer. So when I do Control F, this guy pops up. I want to make sure I change this to a string. And um, if I type in login, hit enter. Uh, we got this one. That's not a big deal. Let's jump. Hit find again. Hit find again. So I'm just hitting find unless I see something interesting. Not yet. They're all kind of just talking about this uh, PHP thing. So there's a whole lot of them. Oh, here's one. Here's a sneaky one. Look at this. Vulnerabilities brute. Username Smith and password ABC123 login. Let me hit enter again. Here's another one. Uh, Smithy, oh wait, name Smithy, password 123 ABC. So when you start to see this stuff, 1234, this is suspicious. Now, what if, would that have shown up if we looked in packet details? Let me check. Um, let me see. There, let me make this bigger. There's a highlighted line. That says login, right? And then username, password incorrect. Okay. So that's just like the web, web page. This is on here, but I'm trying to look for where they actually typed it in. Um, you can tell they typed it in wrong because it says incorrect. Let me see if this shows what they typed in. If I scroll over and up, mm -hmm. I don't see it here. So I guess that was, oh, well, maybe it's in here. Just following the highlights here. Line based stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that could have held you back. It's way easier to find in packet list. Um, and look at how many times they tried it. They tried password as password, and you can tell they're just trying to hack in here. So if you look at it and we counted, I think 207 was the first time. Let's see what they start asking about this. Um, how many different attempts? Let's see how many attempts they made in here. Um, let's hit find again. Okay, there. There's the first one. So here's one, two, three, four, five. So it's good to look in the packet list and if you don't find anything in the packet list, change it over to packet details and look inside. I couldn't find it inside, but it's right here. Um, let's see if there's any more. Nope, then we're back. So it looks like there are five attempts to get in. You can tell this is, I think it's suspicious because they're using the same username, but they're just trying really basic passwords. ABC123, 123ABC, ABC1234, ABC, that's it. Um, and then password, which you know, I think it's a dumb password, but that's saying that you can't really talk very big if the if the 
cybersecurity training website has username admin and password password. So, oh, there it is. Gosh darn it, it is highlighted inside there. Okay. It's right there in the packet details. Okay. See it? Brute force smithy password. Man, okay. Well, what are you going to do? All right, so um, observe them. They don't look legitimate because it looks like they're just trying things. And then right click and look at how much time it took from the very first one to the, to the last one. So we're going to go 207 was our first one. If we look at this one, remember how to find the amount of time it took. It's under frame. Um, where's the arrival time? There it is. So 11.49 and 0 seconds. And then we look at how long it took him to get to the last one. And that one was 11.50 and 42 seconds. So they tried five different passwords in two minutes. Granted, if I forgot my password, I guess I'd try a few. Anyway, um, so yeah. <clears throat> Um, briefly scan it. Looking for failed may indicate a brute force attack. So, uh, just after login header, you should see a from and then a response to the login attempt. The response appears from content. What's that response? So, anyway, that's how to find them. I get it if you had trouble because there are a couple weird things. One, I don't know if we've ever used just regular HTTP. And two, <clears throat> it showed up in the packet list and not necessarily in packet details. Um, so that's kind of weird, right? Yeah, because I think um, login shows up in every one of these. Yeah, because there's this, it's like too common of a word. Now here it is. You would have eventually gotten there, but that's a lot to look through. See how it highlighted that in the packet details? Um, so anyway, that's how you do it. Hope that makes sense. Um, and the reason I know it's brute force is, you know, you have the responses. They even say brute in it. Um, and they're just trying different common passwords. It's like they have a dictionary and they're just trying to force it in. And it's in a very short period of time. All right. Hope that helped. Talk to you later.